Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So uh, the question in this tutorial is very much simple, but what you just need to do for you not to be missing out the videos that I'm going to be posting on the channel every time I post. If you want to be getting notifications, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button there. And then if you have any questions in mathematics, feel free to contact me on these lines on the screen there or just on Facebook if you are able to. And then I'll be helping you to solve physics and mathematics question from your tutorial sheets. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out uh, the videos that I'm going to be posting. All right, so let's quickly, uh, let's quickly begin solving the, the questions. Okay, so we have this question here given that y is equal to 2 to the power x express each of the following in terms of y so they are saying y is equal to 2 to the power x then they want us to express a uh, 2 2 to the power 2x in terms of y so this is just going to be equal to so this 2 to the power 2x can also be written as 2 to the power x raised to the power 2 so while there is 2 to the power x we can replace with y so we say y to the power this 2. Okay. So while there is 2 to the power x, we'll put y. So this is just y to the power that 2. So we have expressed the first one. Let us also do the second one. So the second one is 2 to the power x plus 3. So this one is also simple. When you are when you have numbers with the same or rather indices with the same base, uh, when you're multiplying indices with the same base. Remember what I said, you simply just add the powers, n plus m. So here, this one shows us that the base was 2, and then they added the powers there. So we had 2 to the power x, and uh, multiplying, it with, multiplying it with 2 to the power 3. So when you are multiplying 2 to the power x, rather, 2 to the power x has been given to be equal to y according to, according to the question. So while there is 2 to the power x, we can put y, and then 2 to the power 3 is simply just 8. So this is just the same as h times y is 8y. So this is just the same as 8y. Okay, let us also do the last question quickly. So we have 1 over 4 to the power 2x, then minus 1. So this one is also simple. We can first start by saying, uh, by expressing the denominator there in terms of x. So remember what I said, when you have two indices subtracting, as, rather when you have a base and then you have the power subtracting themselves, it means that at some point there was something that was dividing. Okay, so this here, I can also write it as one over, because I have four as the common uh, a base there so I'll write the 4 there and then I'll write this to the power 2x then divided by then 4 to the power 1 so 4 to the power 1 there so if I write it like that I can also come and write it like this so if I'm dividing this divide by that I can also write it as um, 4 over 4 to the power 2x it's also the same. This is just the same as writing 1 over 1 over 2. 1 over 1 over 2 is just the same as 2 over 1, which is just the same as 2. This is what I've done. So if you have anything 1 over 2, this is just the reciprocal of that which is down. Okay, so, so we have that. Then this can also be simplified. We can also write this as 4, then divide by, since there is a multiplication on uh, on the denominator that means that um, we can uh, we can separate this we can write it as 4 uh, to the power x then everything uh, squared or if i want i can write okay let me just follow one way let me not confuse you with another method okay so i can also write this again as 4 over so what I've been given is 2 to the power x. So I'm, I'm trying to look for 2 to the power x in this expression. So I'm going to have 2 to the power uh, 2 again. So I'm going to have 2 to the power 2x. 
because two times two to the power two will give me four, and then times x there will give me uh, times x there will give me four to the power x. So what I've written here is just the same as four to the power x. In short, what I'm trying to say is this: in case someone has not understood, uh, I have four to the power x. So let me write these two in advance. So I have 4 to the power x. 4 to the power x can also be written as 2 to the power 2 and then x outside. So 2 to the power 2 is simply just 4 and then to the power x you get back to that. So this is what I've written. So 2 times x is just the same as 2. 2 times x is 2x. So this is what I've written here. Then these two outside is the one that is outside there. So these two can multiply with that two again. So we're going to get 4 on top over 2 to the power uh, x and then outside there we're going to have uh, 4 raised to the power 4. So 2 to the power x we've been told to say is just equivalent to y. So we're going to have 4 over y to the power 4. This is the solution. So they said we express all these solutions in terms of y. Yeah, so that is how you simply just do it. Another way you can solve this same question, let us use another method or another approach to get the same answer. So another way you can solve this question is simply just by uh, saying, uh, th this uh, uh, denominator we simplify it in advance. So when you simplify that in advance, we're going to have um, one over, we're going to have, uh, this can be written as two, Four to the four, four can be written as two to the power two. Then in brackets we have two x minus one. And then two times two there we can get uh, two times two. It is so let me write the two down. That two times two it is four x. Two times two x is four x. And then two times negative one is negative two. So this can also be simplified further as. Um, uh, uh, we can write this as uh, y. Yeah, we can write this as uh, two. Since we're subtracting there, so we can write this as uh, two to the power four x, and then everything divided by uh, two to the power two because of these two there. Then when we do this, we can also simplify this further by writing it as. Uh, um, 2 to the power and then x and then outside you put a 4 there then everything divided by 2 to the power 2 this is 4 then from there we can also simplify that further by writing it as up here where there is 2 to the power x we can write that uh, we can replace it with y so we have 1 over while there is 2 to the power x we put y then of course there is this power 4 so I'm going to write that to the power 4 and then everything divided by 4. So the reciprocal of this, if we want to get rid of this one, we just find the reciprocal of that. Or to use the correct mathematical language, you can just say this is 1 divided by uh, y to the power 4 over 4. So when you are dividing, you change the sign there. When you change the sign, it becomes multiplication it means that these numbers here will switch so this will become 4 over y to the power 4 so this will now be equal to 1 times 4 there this will give us 4 over y to the power 4 All right sorry for that interruption okay so this is what i was saying uh, so 4 this can also be written as, uh, so this is equal to 4 over y to the power 4. So 1 times 4 there, this will give us uh, 4 over, and then y to the power 4. So this is the solution for that equation for this one. I've expressed it in terms of y. Yeah, so thank you for watching today's tutorial. So make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that every video that I'm going to be posting you should be able to view them, to see them at 
uh, at the right time when I just post them. And then in case you have any questions, feel free to ask me on any of these lines. Feel free to contact me on, uh, on any of these lines and uh, click on the notification button immediately after clicking on the subscription button. Click on the notification button so that every video that I'll be posting, you'll be able to see it on time. All right, so see you in the next tutorial video as I'm going to be solving physics and mathematics.